It does not feel like we're leaving the monetary policy comfort zone if Jay Powell's comments are anything to go by. At least not yet. I think a test uh, for his leadership is going to be, is he going to be willing to forecast an inflation overshoot? Is he going to be willing to try to move inflation expectations back to target? They don't seem to be there yet. Is that going to change as far as you're concerned? Well, we hope, uh, we hope it will. I mean, they are doing a, a policy path that is quite gradual, that is testing the limits of growth. We have the unemployment rate that is the lowest in a long period of time. And uh, they should be doing that even more. There is no limit to how low the unemployment rate can go, provided uh, inflation stays uh, at target. And we hope they go into that path. Is your message that they should be running this really hard? Is that what you're trying to say? The message is that they need to understand what the main risk of the economy is at any moment in time. And that this present moment is that inflation might be too low. And so they should be testing the limits of the unemployment rate to try to move inflation back to target. How do they overshoot it? Should they raise their inflation target? Should they just like not talk about it? Should they let the employment rate go to 3%? What's the best strategy? So I think you start by forecasting an overshooting of inflation, something the Fed hasn't done yet. If you remember the dots... So say specifically that they want to overshoot or raise the target to 3%? Well, first you start by trying to overshoot it. They haven't forecast in the dots an overshooting of inflation yet. So I think the first step should be to adopt a policy stance that shows that overshooting. Once you manage to get into that overshooting, then you do what I recommend in the book, a process of opportunistic reflation. So you first overshoot, and then you accommodate that overshoot rather than trying to bring inflation down to the previous target. And then you take it to another step. It's something that it may take a couple of cycles. It's the same thing we did with the opportunistic deflation that we did in the period since the 80s. It took two or three cycles until we got where we are now. They can do the same thing in reverse on the way up.